Listen over. <laughs> what are you doing? You want to go backwards, like Russian economy under Putin. Stop making Putin jokes. You sound like police under Putin. Speaking of police... I'm sorry, officer. I believe my license is uh, somewhere in these pairs of easy-fit blue jeans. Eh? Eh? That's not the way American police do things. Finally, someone who knows what a traffic stop is really all about. Uh, Chief, don't you think those jeans are a little tight? We're all not high-waisted like you, Lou, okay? I'm just gonna lie down in the back seat here. Yeah. Okay. All right, the Blue Knight is ready for action. <laughs> What's wrong? Every note you play sounds like dying animal writhing on keys. Awesome! I just want to get more students and help my father with his dream. Buying a limo. He could tell big shots in the back that, no, they cannot smoke. Seriously, I'm gonna make you proud. I have hidden talents. Oh, Bort. If only you make such a miracle happen, I would love your hands forever. Wait a minute, you can't hear? I'm so proud. I would have been happy if Bart was just a piano mover. Thank you. I owe it all to Xenia. Can you teach my boys? But no tickling the ivories. You treat them with respect. Can you teach my monkey? <laughs> then I can deal with the musicians' union instead of the humane society. Much easier to muscle. Xenia, I couldn't have done it without you. And you. Bart, I've never been so proud of you. Never, never, never. And now I'll always be at home in a saloon. Something smells fishy. Yeah, that would be me. But I agree, there's something funny here. Is it me? No. No. Hey, your baseball cap's one plastic bump tighter than usual. What gives? Okay, guys, here's the deal. I've gone bald. <gasps> ah, then again, who cares? Yeah, you already landed a hot wife. That's the only reason men evolved hair. What are you talking about? You lured Marge in with your hair. You trapped her with marriage. You skinned and field gutted her by having kids. Now she's mounted on your wall for good with fake glass eyes and a rubber tongue. The way you put it, it sounds so perfect, but it's not. You sound seriously depressed. Why don't we talk about it over a Moe's? It's not even noon. Yeah, I gotta watch, Egghead. I couldn't help overhearing your predicament, mainly because my hearing is so great. Who are you? The answer to your prayers. Are you my guardian angel? If so, can you turn a pumpkin into a chariot? Even a used Camry would be okay. No, just a regular hairless Joe like you. Been bald since I was 23. With the money I've saved, I bought a yacht. Whoa, you're cool with it? I haven't even told my wife. You wait for the right moment, you show her that glorious dome, and then you rest it sweetly on her bosom and let the kisses flow like rain. Wow, is that what your wife did? No wife, I just slept with thousands of bald women. <laughs> <laughs> Caught your recital, Bart. Lisa, isn't it great to have a musical genius in the family? Helen Lovejoy, you always have to stir the pot. Unlike you when you make your lumpy clam chowder. I guess Bart must be a musical genius because frauds are always found out. Always. My work is done. Now to reward myself with a case of wine. Hi, Zen.
Anya, I'm here for my lesson. Good to see you, my love. Sit on porch. Are there other people in here? Because of your performance, I win many new students. Come on, I gotta learn my mom's stripper music by midnight. But if I got you all these students, shouldn't you be grateful? Oh, of course I'm grateful. Here is cushion for porch chair. Go to Badaboom. <laughs> Hmm, knocked myself into a corner. Mom, you'd still be proud of me if I couldn't play the piano, right? Of course. But very, very, very angry at all the time I wasted. Gulp? Was that a gulp? Are you getting a sore throat? Let me give you some castor oil. Mm. <coughs> You'll need your voice to say thanks, Mom, after your next recital. My what? I signed you up for the Ten and Below Talent Show next week. Huh? You know, I'm almost 11. It's not really fair. Bart, when you were on that stage, it felt like you were pouring those notes right into my heart. Hey, one of those notes could go to your brain and kill you. Are you sure you want to take that chance? A proud mother always does. Hmm. <laughs> First of all, you're over 10 years old. Second, you're clearly Justin Bieber. That's another 25 bucks we'll never see. Gosh. Who can make the sun rise? Why won't anybody tell me? No, I'm sorry. I was faking it. <laughs> I lied so I could see Xenia. Xenia, oh, oh Xenia! Everyone knows Xenia. But there's really only one girl whose opinion matters to me, my mom. I'd like to go home now, and to think you'd do this on Mother's Day. Is it too late to make your breakfast in bed? <laughs> <laughs> um, Mom, I'm sorry I pretended to be good at piano, and I'm really ashamed that I lied. Excuse me. Mrs. Marge, I took my driver's test. Did you pass? More or less. If I eat an orange wedge, the whole thing's gonna blow. Well, I'm glad your side of the deal worked out. What are you talking about? Your boy is genius. No, he cheated. Marge, in Russia, everyone succeeds by cheating. Even Russian dressing is just Thousand Island. <gasps> but your son is a good boy. He cheated for love, and he cheated for you. Thank you. All right, a chance to make a new friend. Listen, sweetie, it was wrong of me to force my dreams on you. Yeah, your generation won't have any dreams come true. Sweetie, you're just gonna be who you are. Well, who am I? You are unique, you are special, and at some point that's gonna come together and work for you. I know it. Thanks, Mom. And that means no punishment, right? Wrong. You have to walk all the way over to Grandpa to take a plate of cookies I baked. Here's your new plate, Grandpa. Oh, boy! There's crumbs on it! March, I have something to show you. Is it your impression of Mr. Burns eating soup? Because I'm not in the mood. No, it's something else. So? I've always wondered what you were hiding under your curly locks. My beautiful yellow melon. Mm -hmm. Hair, no hair. I don't really think about it. <laughs> Confidence is so attractive in a man. Tell me about it. Oh, Marge, when you hold me like that. Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs>